Hi y'all, welcome to Art Alchemy. I just wanted to come out here and make a little video about uh, two different marker um, papers that I have finally, <laughs> you know, paint on and tested. This one I got it over the October actually, the pre-Black Friday. This was before Black Friday and I just happened to put an order. This I got at Jerry Aromas for like, I think it was like $3.76, under $4 and it was for 10 sheets. Quite small, five by seven, but I figured um, that I give it a shot. And look, it's designed for watercolor, alcohol, ink, acrylic paint, oil pastel, graphite, charcoal, and silstring. So uh, a lot of people use this for alcohol ink. So I figured that, oh well, you know, I have a large set of markers. So I wanted to try this one. So I did. Do um, you guys remember this? I showed it on my reels. Um, it's actually really, really good paper and it's quite soft and look, you cannot see through it. I was really surprised. This doesn't come with the little cover on the back. So I was really impressed with this, um, with this paper. I kind of wish it wasn't like a, like a paper pad. I, I like this, um, for marker. I like this, uh kind of customizing so this is this is well obviously the Xfinity synthetic which is for me it's really really good um I like it a lot and um this one remember I got this for my birthday through Amazon this is the uh Ohuhu and this is one of their smaller ones they have larger ones I was really impressed because this is not only hardcover um Oh, look, I'm going to put uh, something here. Um, this is a little hummingbird that I did. I didn't like the way the wings came out, um, but I do want to keep it. I like the way the washes and stuff came out, so I could do with that, and I'm just going to put it on there. So it reminds me, but yeah, that's something else that that is in watercolor. It's not in marker, but um, let me show you here. So I was really um, impressed with the packaging of this. Um, I actually tested out, this is, um, this is uh, my, the Windsor & Newton, um, and this is also Windsor & Newton. So you can see they both vibrate on both, on both, um, papers. And this is a cookie that I, <laughs> that I took a picture during the holidays, during Christmas actually. So I thought it came out really good, and I thought, and when I opened it, I wanted to see, but this is what I like. Not only I was complaining about how compact it is, but I actually end up liking the size. And I was really impressed that um, it's perforated. Not only is it marker paper, but in case, um, so I, I wouldn't use it as a sketchbook. I would use it as a final sketch um, drawing for, you know, something that you would want to keep. And like, let's say if you go to a, a craft fair or something, an art fair, and you're there killing some time, this would be a good thing to take because if somebody sees you and, um, you know, it's already in marker and all that, and they want it, you could actually take it out and give it to them or sell it. But yeah, or give it to them. But the only thing I didn't like is that unlike this paper, which is like, excellent paper you you could see through it and the marker the Winston Newton are quite I don't know if you can see this but this is a metallic um and this is this is a, just a regular one it was quite juicy so I didn't really have to use much but as you can see you can still see through it now what I like about it is that it does come with this little protector sheet and it's quite thick so I did put it under there and stuff like that so I was really, this is 30 sheets, so I don't think because they're perforated, um, unless it's something that I do want to keep, um, like let's say this, um, I don't think I'm gonna, like, uh, I don't think I want to draw on the back, because like I said, I don't, I don't consider this a sketchbook, I consider it as a final sketch, and this is kind of the way I treated this one, um, you know, this is the little Russian, um, which I encourage all of you guys to do it. Um, this is a little Russian technique. I forgot the name of it but right off the back of my... Um, but it's a therapeutic kind of um, um, art design. You just create... You just 
black marker you could just create the lines like let them flow for a couple minutes you could choose your minutes i usually choose between one or two because i'm really i can't like be still <laughs> and then once i do that i fill in the little the little dots which are every time they cross it's considered to be an obstacle so you have to round them to help you in your path and then yeah you just create your designs as you go so i do suggest um you do that so this i would like i said i would consider as a final um sketchbook drawing and this is also what i like remember when i said um about taking it well it does have a little pocket here so i guess i'm assuming if you tear off some of your drawings um because you plan to sell them or whatever you could put them in here and then take it you know take it back it has a little it has a little thing as well to uh kind of put it back and i like that it's hard cover because I make sketchbooks, so I'm definitely gonna keep. Um, I'm gonna keep them as, but I could, you know, once I'm done, I could tear them, tear them out of here, and then use it as a. Use it a, put my own paper in it. I don't know. I might get some of this paper and just put it in there, sew it in. It won't be tear anymore, but I don't know. I have to figure it away because I like the hardcover. I might just use another rubber band thing in the middle. So I won't like, or just sew the papers on fabric and then put them on here, which I could do that too. I'll figure that out when that time comes. But like I said, I really like the way these um, are packaged. So I now I understand why they're a little more than these because these are loose sheets. But they are, like I said, very, very good. I was really impressed. And I've only tried these two. I don't think I want to try more because I'm... Uh, you know it's not like watercolor paper but i just thought i'll let you guys know in case you're wondering if you're considering buying some inexpensive uh alcohol um well um marker paper should i say and they're both really really soft this one is softer than this one but they are both really soft so it won't mess up your markers all right well i uh, hope you guys have a lovely uh, friday have a nice day and i'll talk to you guys later bye